Imagine a time when dinosaurs roamed the earth. These magnificent creatures, both large and small, dominated the land, sea, and sky. Their presence was felt in every corner of the globe, from the lush green forest to the arid deserts. Now picture them in a place far different from the warm tropical landscapes we often associate with these ancient giants. Envision a world covered in ice and snow, where the temperatures plummet and the sun barely rises above the horizon for months on end. This is the story of pterosaurs, flying reptiles of the dinosaur age and their surprising existence in a land of ice and darkness. These incredible creatures with wingspans that could reach over 30 feet soared through the skies of what is now Antarctica, defying the harsh conditions. Australia, a land we know for its diverse ecosystems, was once a very different place. Long before it became the sunburnt country we recognize today, it was part of the supercontinent Gondwana sharing its landmass with Antarctica. Millions of years ago, during the early Cretaceous period, this continent lay within the polar circle. The climate was drastically different, with long, dark winters and brief, intense summers. The landscape was dominated by glaciers and ice sheets, creating a challenging environment for any form of life. It was a harsh and unforgiving environment, shrouded in darkness for much of the year. The long polar nights brought extreme cold and limited food sources, making survival a constant struggle for the creatures that lived there. Yet life found a way. Despite the seemingly insurmountable challenges, a variety of species adapted to the extreme conditions. From the resilient flora that managed to thrive in the brief summer months to the hardy fauna that developed unique survival strategies, the polar regions were teeming with life. This remarkable adaptability is a testament to the resilience of nature even in the most inhospitable environments. Deep within the earth, hidden beneath layers of sediment and rock, clues to this ancient world lay hidden for millions of years. These clues, often just fragments of bones or impressions in stone, tell the story of a time when giant reptiles roamed the land and skies. In the 1980s, paleontologists exploring the rugged coastline of Victoria, Australia, made an astounding discovery. This area, known for its dramatic cliffs and treacherous waves, held secrets from a bygone era. At a site called Dinosaur Cove, they unearthed fossil fragments that would change our understanding of prehistoric life on the Australian continent. The site, difficult to access and often battered by the elements, became a treasure trove of ancient remains. The fossils, a partial pelvis bone and a small wing bone, belonged to creatures that once soared through the prehistoric skies, pterosaurs. These flying reptiles with wingspans that could reach impressive lengths were the rulers of the ancient skies. These delicate remains, painstakingly extracted from the rock, provided the first evidence that these remarkable reptiles had thrived in this extreme polar environment. The discovery was groundbreaking, revealing that pterosaurs had adapted to the harsh conditions of what was once a polar region, enduring long periods of darkness and cold. This find not only expanded our knowledge of pterosaur distribution, but also offered insights into their resilience and adaptability in diverse climates. The larger of the two fossils, the partial pelvis hinted at a creature of impressive size. This fossil, with its robust structure, suggested that the pterosaur was not only large, but also strong, capable of enduring the harsh conditions of its environment. The pelvis, being a crucial part of the skeletal system, provided insights into the creature's mobility and lifestyle. It indicated that this pterosaur was likely a powerful flyer, able to travel long distances in search of food and suitable nesting sites. Scientists estimated that this adult pterosaur had a wingspan of over two meters. This impressive wingspan would have allowed it to soar high above the ground, scanning vast areas for prey. The size of the wings also suggests that it could glide effortlessly, conserving energy during long flights. The measurements taken by scientists help us understand the scale and capabilities of these ancient creatures, painting a picture of a formidable predator of the skies. It shared the skies with dinosaurs gliding above the icy landscapes. These prehistoric skies were a bustling ecosystem, with pterosaurs and dinosaurs coexisting and interacting in complex ways. The icy landscapes below were teeming with life, providing a rich hunting ground for these aerial giants. 
The ability to glide over such vast and challenging terrains speaks to the adaptability and resilience of the pterosaurs. The smaller fossil, a delicate wing bone, told a different story. This fragile bone, with its intricate structure, revealed the presence of a much younger pterosaur. The delicacy of that bone suggests that the juvenile was still growing, its bones not yet fully hardened. This wing bone provides a glimpse into the early life stages of pterosaurs, showing how they developed and matured over time. It belonged to a juvenile pterosaur, its wingspan barely reaching a meter. Despite its smaller size, this young pterosaur would have been learning to navigate the skies, honing its flying skills under the watchful eyes of its parents. The comparison of the juvenile and adult bones highlights the growth and development of these creatures, from vulnerable hatchlings to powerful adults. The presence of both an adult and a juvenile pterosaur in the same location painted a vivid picture of life in this ancient polar region. It suggests that these pterosaurs lived in family groups with adults caring for and protecting their young. The discovery of these fossils together provides valuable insights into the social structure and behavior of pterosaurs, indicating that they may have had complex family dynamics similar to those of modern birds. It suggested that these creatures didn't just visit these southern latitudes, they made it their home, raising their young in this challenging environment. The harsh conditions of the polar region would have required these pterosaurs to be highly adaptable and resourceful. Their ability to thrive in such an environment speaks to their resilience and ingenuity. This discovery challenges our understanding of pterosaur behavior and ecology, showing that they were capable of surviving and flourishing in some of the most extreme environments on Earth. Life in the early Cretaceous polar regions was far from easy. Imagine a world shrouded in darkness for weeks or even months on end. The sun, a distant memory during the long winter, offered little warmth. Temperatures plummeted and the landscape was locked in a perpetual freeze. Food was scarce and survival was a constant battle against the elements. Yet, despite these challenges, life persisted. Dinosaurs roamed the icy plains and in the skies above, pterosaurs soared. The discovery of pterosaur fossils in this harsh polar environment spoke volumes about the adaptability of these ancient flyers. Pterosaurs were masters of the air, their lightweight bodies and powerful wings allowing them to navigate the skies with ease. They were not dinosaurs, but flying reptiles, the first vertebrates to evolve powered flight. Their wings were formed by a membrane of skin, muscle and other tissues stretched between their elongated fourth finger and their bodies. This wing structure, while seemingly delicate, provided them with incredible lift and maneuverability, allowing them to exploit a variety of ecological niches. Section 6. Rewriting History. The significance of the Dinosaur Cove discovery. The Dinosaur Cove fossils challenged our understanding of pterosaur distribution and adaptability. Previously, these creatures were primarily associated with warmer climates. The discovery of their remains in a polar environment suggested a far greater tolerance to extreme conditions than previously thought. It also hinted at the possibility of unique adaptations that allowed them to thrive in these challenging environments. Did they develop insulating feathers for warmth? Did they migrate to warmer regions during the harshest months or did they find ways to survive the long dark winters? Section 7 Unanswered Questions Mysteries of the Ancient Skies The Dinosaur Cove fossils provided a tantalizing glimpse into the lives of these ancient creatures but also raised more questions than answers. How did these pterosaurs adapt to the long periods of darkness? What did they eat in this harsh environment? Did they congregate in colonies or were they solitary creatures? Finding more fossils, perhaps even eggs or hatchlings, could help paint a clearer picture of their life cycle and behavior in this extreme environment. Section 8 Australia's Fossil Record A treasure trove awaiting discovery the discovery of Australia's oldest pterosaur fossils highlights the importance of continued paleontological exploration and research. Australia, with its vast and ancient landscapes, holds a wealth of secrets waiting to be unearthed. Every new fossil discovery adds another piece to the puzzle, helping us understand the intricate web of life that existed millions of years ago. 
The dinosaur cove pterosaurs, once soaring through polar skies, are a testament to the power of fossil evidence to rewrite history. Section 9. The future of the past, continuing the exploration. The story of these ancient polar pterosaurs is far from over. The Dinosaur Cove discovery serves as a reminder that the fossil record is a vast and ever-evolving library of life on Earth. Each new discovery has the potential to reshape our understanding of the past by continuing to explore, excavate and analyse these precious remnants of a bygone era, we can piece together the story of life on our planet and gain a deeper appreciation for the incredible diversity and resilience of life itself.